100 actually for so we have discussed like angle between the two vectors now next heading write down what is what do you mean by equal vectors types of vector write down the heading types of vector types of vector So what is the types of vector? First write down equal vector. Equal vector. So two vectors are equal. What is the condition? They have same magnitude and direction. Write down two vectors. are equal if they have first equal magnitude equal magnitude second equal direction <laughs> meaning is what like this this is the 2d plane means x y x axis or y axis okay x y plane so in this plane if i draw vectors like this parallel to this vector i will draw some more vectors okay these are equal vectors why this is also equal vector yes. These are the equal vectors. Okay. Meaning is what? They should have equal magnitude and equal direction. You can check. For all these vectors, they have equal direction like this. And they have equal magnitude. So, for example, if I take two vectors, A vector and B vector. One vector, A vector is like this. And B vector just like this. This is B vector. So these two vectors looking equal. Okay. These are equal vector. So we can say A vector is equal to B vector. When we can say this, this thing, when they have same magnitude, magnitude of A must be equal to the magnitude of B and they should have same direction same direction also then only we say it is a equal vector clear yes sir for example if i draw a vector if i say a vector is 20 newton due east And B vector is 20 Newton due east. So they have same magnitude, same direction, east. So we can say they are equal. Clear? Yes, sir. After this, write down next negative of the vector. Negative of a vector. What is the meaning of this? Write down. Same magnitude, negative of vector means what? 
सेम मैग्नीट्यूड बट अपोजिट इन डायरेक्शन क्लियर अपोजिट इन डायरेक्शन मीनिंग इज वॉट इफ आई राइट लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर इज अ वैक्टर ए वैक्टर दिस इज ट्वेंटी टू मीटर पर सेकेंड ईस्ट बी वैक्टर इज सेम मैग्नीट्यूड बट डायरेक्शन इज अपोजिट इट इज वेस्ट क्लियर सो वी कैन से लाइक हाउ हाउ वी कैन राइट लाइक दिस they have same magnitude magnitude of a is equal to magnitude of b but the condition is that our a vector is what it is not like this a vector is equal to b vector they have same magnitude but direction is opposite so we are writing minus here okay we are writing a vector is equal to minus b vector minus b vector means same direction so uh, same magnitude but opposite direction meaning is what if b vector is 2i cap then a vector will be minus of b that is 2 minus i cap how will you draw b vector is 2i means like this a vector will be 2 in which direction minus i this is your b vector this is a vector a vector okay this is b vector same length but direction is opposite one in the right one in the left okay a vector is equal to minus b vector is it okay any doubt हाँ राइट राइट सो नेगेटिव वेक्टर हाउ विल यू राइट नेगेटिव वेक्टर बी सिंपली इफ एनी वेक्टर इज गिवन इफ एनी वेक्टर इज गिवन ऑलवेज फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई राइट ए वेक्टर इज एम आई ऑडिबल नाउ हेलो मे बी सम नेटवर्क इश्यू फ्रॉम योर राइट ऑडिबल नाउ सो माई क्वेश्चन इज फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए वैक्टर इज Uh, a vector is uh, 2i 2i cap minus j cap if somebody is asking find the negative of a vector negative of this vector negative of this vector, of this vector. then what you will do that will be b vector negative of this vector will be like this minus of a vector that is 2y minus j so how will you write minus 2y plus j minus 2y vector plus j so j this is negative minus 2y cap plus j cap so b vector is what is negative vector. okay meaning is what if a vector is like this its negative will be like this this is minus a. okay this is negative vector and uh, we are writing this as like this we are giving the name of this vector like b vector okay yes sir this is negative vector so did you notice like one thing if you take negative vector of any vector then vector rotates by 180 degree if vector is like this i vector 
2 y vector 2 y cap then how will you draw like this negative of this vector will be minus 2y minus 2y means 2 same magnitude but direction is opposite this is minus 2y cap this is 2y cap what is angle 180 so if you take negative of any vector then the vector rotates by 180 degree clear is it okay Yes, sir. After this, write down parallel and anti-parallel vector. Write down the next. Parallel. Vector. Parallel vector means simply like this. One vector, if I, if I take like this. Second vector. I will draw like this. It should be parallel to this, same direction. These two vectors are parallel. What is angle? Zero degree. If I say anti-parallel vector, anti-parallel. Hmm. Anti-parallel means what? This is one vector. Direction is simply angle in 180 degree. Second vector if I draw like this. Clear? Yes. What is the angle between these two? Theta is? Both are anti parallel anti parallel simply means they have a different direction theta is 180 degree simply understand okay theta is 180 degree they they can have equal magnitude or it may or it may not be okay i don't i'm not asking regarding like i'm not saying anything regarding equal magnitude i'm simply saying if theta is 0 degree then we say it is parallel vector Clear? Then only they have same direction. Anti anti parallel means opposite direction. Theta is one eighty degree. That is only clear. Sir, uh, I have a doubt. Yes. Sir, then what would be the difference between negative of a vector and anti parallel vector, sir? Negative of vector, like I just say, like uh, one eighty degree. Clear. Negative of vector is different thing. Here, 180 degree I have written because, wait, ah, nothing, no difference. Because 180 degree, if angle is 180 degree, simply it is negative vector. Ah, yes. one thing, like one difference is there, one difference is there. Wait, wait, wait. Here, magnitude is equal. But here, it can, it may or it may not. That is only difference. Yes. I told, na. In parallel vector, anti-parallel, it may or it may not be, but in negative vector, magnitude will be same. Already have written. You can check. Same magnitude, but opposite in direction. You can check. Okay? This is the difference. Okay? Yes, sir. After this, write down collinear vector. Write down the heading. Next. Collinear vector. Collinear vector. Under this, write down. Vectors collinear means if they lie on the same line. Clear? If vectors yes, are lying on the same line, we say collinear. If you draw a line, you can write a definition which lie on the same line. Which lie. which lie on the same line. Okay. Same yes, line sir. means same path. 
What is the meaning? If I draw a line, then if I draw some vectors like this, one vector like this, on the same line like this, okay? These are collinear vectors. You can see the A vector, this is B vector, C vector, D, and E. Many vectors it can be. So all these are what? Collinear vector because they are lying on the same line. This is same line. Okay? Yes, sir. Next is coplanar vector. Coplanar vector. Coplanar means which lie in the same plane. Clear? You can write which lie which lie in the same plane. Important note, write down. Two vectors will always be Coplanar. But write on first note, second note, three vectors A. or may not be cochlear. Okay. Meaning is what? Have you done this? Okay. Hello. Yes, sir. Uh, have you written previously? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Coplanar means like this. If this is XY plane, XY plane, if I draw any vectors like this, these are coplanar vectors. These are coplanar vectors. Because these vectors are lying in the same plane, x, y plane. Okay, these are coplanar vectors. So two vectors will always be coplanar. But three vectors, it may or it may not be. Reason is what? If you are drawing a vector, like if you are drawing this x plane, x, y plane, this is z. Okay. If I say like A cross B, A cross B, you will learn later. A cross B, out, outcome is vector. Let us suppose C vector. Then I told like C vector is perpendicular to A and B. Later you will understand, okay. So if A vector is this, Okay, 
and uh, b vector is this this is origin and the angle between these two vector is theta a cross b c vector c vector is like this this is c vector okay now yes, these sir. three vectors are not coplanar a b are coplanar but a b c are not coplanar clear so sir, coplanar B and C are are because they are lying in the same plane means x y plane but c vector is not lying in the x y plane so it is we can't say a b c are coplanar we can say here a comma b are coplanar coplanar means will lie in the same plane but a vector comma b vector and c vector these are not coplanar Okay. Sir, then can we say that A vector and C vector are coplanar and B vector and C vector are also coplanar? A vector, C vector is a coplanar. How can you say that? Because how can you say that? Like, you know, this B vector lying in the X, X Y plane. If you are saying like this, A vector and C vector is coplanar. Okay, then A vector is lying in the lying on x axis. It means it is an xz plane. Then B vector. Now you can say in what case I can say it may or it may not be like I'm telling. See, if A vector is this, B vector is this, and C vector is given like this. Then these three vectors are lying in the x y plane. Then we can say coplanar. Here AB is coplanar, ABC is coplanar, but in this case, for example, if you are taking XY plane, A vector is this and B vector is this. This is theta. If you find A cross B, A cross B will be given by A cross B equal to C vector. Then this C vector is always perpendicular to A and B. It means C vector will be like this. Along z-axis, positive z-axis or positive y-axis. It will not be in the same plane. A, B is in the same plane. Okay. Is so it clear? A and B are in the same plane. Uh, any two other uh, vectors are not in the same plane. In yes, same. yes. I am saying here A, A, B, C are in the same plane. Two vectors are will always be coplanar. But three vectors, it may or it may not be. I have written now three yes, vectors sir. may or may not be coplanar. But two vectors will always be coplanar. Otherwise, yes, they never intersect. They never form an angle. You can check here. A, B, C are in the same plane. Okay, this same plane. This is the plane. X, Y plane. Here, A, B, A, B is lying in this plane. Okay. But C is uh, perpendicular to this plane above. If you want some more clarification, you can draw the cuboid like this if you want like this like this okay then how many planes are here i will draw for example this x axis okay this is y axis and this is z axis clear so yeah. this is a plane this is a plane in which a and B, this A vector and this is B vector. Clear? And C vector will be A cross B. When you solve A cross B, it will be along perpendicular to this, perpendicular to X, Y plane. Clear? Or it may be possible yes. like how many planes? This, this is Y, Z plane. This is Y, Z plane. This is X, Z plane. Clear? Is it clear to you? Yeah. Yes. Sir. When I am teaching the cross product, then you have more clarity like why it is perpendicular, how to find the C vector, cross product, dot product, then you have more clarity. In your room, like you can check, there is a corner, there is an X, Y and Z. Your floor is X, Y plane. There are two vectors A and B are there. 
one line one height the height is given by z axis that is c vector which is perpendicular to a and b which will not lie in the a and b plane a vector and d vector clear it will always perpendicular yeah. to a and b that is cross product you will learn later clear yes, after sir. this write down concurrent vector concurrent vector concurrent vector two or more vectors one hat one hat this one hat Okay. One minute. Actually, one child is messaging me like <laughs> regarding when will be the class. I said no, no time. Two or more vectors. Today's time is six. Two or more vector write down. Two or more vectors. intersecting intersecting at the same point at the same point or Concurrent, you know, concurrent lines in mass you have learned. Yes, sir. Same thing is here, okay? Or one more thing, two or more vectors, one more definition. Two or more vectors whose line of action whose line of action intersect at a common point clear meaning is what yes have you written this yes sir hmm. for example this is the vector a vector this is b vector and this is c vector clear now you can check like these three vectors two or more vectors which are intersecting at the same common point they are intersecting at the common point then we say these three vectors are concurrent vectors clear one more line like if one vector is like this a vector b vector is like this and c vector is like this okay so you can check this a vector the line of action of a vector is like this this is the line of action of a vector this is the line of action of b vector line of action of c vector if the line of actions intersect at a common point then also we can say these are what concurrent vectors clear
you know line of action means the line along which the vector is going to act clear yes sir after this write down i think you have written unit vector have you written this no sir all right right take care please. You practice question of vector, okay, sidely. I will give you yes, sidely, you should, uh, S.C. Verma or any other, uh, you can, uh, like, uh, what I say, foundation, no need of this. Material is sufficient, I will give you material, no worry. Clear? Question I will give. Along with the S.C. Yes, Verma question is also good, like, are you following any book, like? Currently, H.C. Verma, I don't know what else to want. Ah, then no worry. S.C. Verma is sufficient. I will give some other material for you. Vector is starting, okay? Vector topic is starting, they have given. And it's the most important topic. Like, if you have good clarity regarding vectors, then the entire physics is very easy. Clear? Differentiation, integration, vector, diplomatry. These are the four topics which you have, you should have a mastery. Clear? Means you should know the yes. every basics. Then believe me, things are very easy. Okay. After this write down, we will solve easy question, tough question, and very tough. Okay, no need to worry. Practice as much as possible. Yes, sir. Write down next. Unit vector. Unit vector. Inside unit vector, write down a vector whose magnitude is write down a vector whose magnitude is whose magnitude is unity unity clear what is the use of unit vector write down what is the use of this unit vector if somebody is asking what is the use what is the use question Simply its purpose is to give the specified direction for any unknown vector. Okay, if vector has no direction, you can use the unit vector. So you can write, it has only one use. It has only one use. To give direction to a vector. To give direction to a vector. Clear? Since it is a spatial vector, if it is denoted by like this. Vector one cap. This is cap, okay. How to read a cap? Since it is special, so we are using cap. Clear? Yes, sir. So if it's for if I write uh, any a cap, a cap formula is given vector divided by its modulus mod. Mm 
clear? Yes, sir. Any doubt up to this? Because now I'm going to explain the meaning of this unit vector. How to use this? For example, a vector is given like this. Unit vector means this I have written na, a cap. What is the meaning of this? If this is the a vector, clear? If I want to write, if I want to write unit vector of this given vector, how will you write? What is the meaning of unit vector? A vector whose magnitude is unity. So I will draw the unit line, one meter line like this. Clear? A, A cap. A cap means it is used to give the direction. If you look at carefully, here A vector is what? If I draw A vector, okay? And I want the unit vector along this vector. For example, how will you write? This A vector is what? A, it's How will you write? You just tell me if you want to write any vector. You need two things. One is magnitude, one is direction. So you have written like A vector is mod A. You got modulus and direction will be given by its unit vector. Like this. If you want to write B vector, then you should know its magnitude and direction is given by its unit vector. Clear? Yes, sir. We can multiply any vector magnitude with unit vector. Why? Because unit vector has unit magnitude. Then it will not affect the magnitude of given vector. If I write, for example, C vector, I want to know, I want to write this vector. I will write mod C. Then I can multiply unit vector. This is having unit magnitude, so it will not affect the magnitude of given vector. Its magnitude is unity. So if you multiply mod C, multiply 1, clear? Then yes, sir. it will not affect the magnitude. It will give the simply the direction because if I write A cap, if you, if you draw this is a unit line, okay? And if you give a cap like this, this is unit vector, A cap. Okay. This is A cap. This is the how, the meaning is that unit vector, what is this? Unit vector along the, along the direction of A vector. Along the direction of A vector. One more meaning like along means in the direction of in the. Along means in the direction of A vector. Clear? Yes, sir. So what is the, like if I ask like uh, one question to you. If you, if I'm asking like this is A vector. Okay. And I want to write a vector whose magnitude is 4 meter and which is in the same direction as A. I want to, my question is, I want to write a vector whose magnitude is 4 meter and it is in the same direction as A vector. This is any unknown vector whose magnitude I know. I will write 4. I am saying like this vector has same direction as A vector. Then who is giving the direction of A vector? It's A a cap, this A cap. Then I will do one thing like I will multiply with A cap. I will give, I will get the vector. This vector is B vector. Unknown vector. Clear? Yes, sir. Now you understand what is the use of unit vector? It helps us to find the direction of any yeah. unknown vector. If you don't know the direction of any vector, then you should take the help of unit vector. After this, write down null vector or zero vector. Write down 
नल वेक्टर स्लैश जीरो वेक्टर अंडर दिस राइट ऑन नल सिंपली मींस इट हैज इट्स मैग्नीट्यूड इज जीरो राइट ऑन मैग्नीट्यूड इज जीरो मैग्नीट्यूड इज जीरो क्लियर एंड इट हैज आर्बिट्री डायरेक्शन it has arbitrary means any direction it has arbitrary arbitrary direction okay yes sir arbitrary means any direction is it clear yes sir Now after this last is orthogonal unit vector. Write down orthogonal. See whatever I am teaching here, na don't share your notes with anyone outside. No sir. Here don't share. Okay. Orthogonal yes, unit sir. vector and revise these topics. Whatever I am discussing in these days, revise in. Uh, Weeks, okay. Before coming to a class, revise the lecture and practice question. Then yes, it will it has certain meaning, okay. Orthogonal unit vector means what? Meaning is that orthogonal means ninety degree. Ninety unit vector you understand? So mutually yes. perpendicular. Mutually unit vector mutually perpendicular. Mutually perpendicular. What is the meaning of this? For example, if I am drawing like this, three vec, three axes, x axis. This is x. This is y, and this is plus z. Or is it clear? Now, if I draw three unit vector, simply one unit vector. If I draw like this, simply one meter line, like this. These are the. I have drawn a unit vector like this. Okay. Everyone has different same one one magnitude unit means single unit magnitude. Clear? Yes. Sir. Now, the unit vector which is in the direction of x-axis, this is known as i cap. Okay. The unit vector which is in the direction of y-axis, which is along the y-axis, we say j cap. This is k cap. Clear? Yes, sir. I cap, j cap. K cap, so I cap simply means, and you can check all are at ninety degree, all are at ninety degree. These are ninety degree. So how do you draw? Now onwards, I cap, J cap, K cap, all are at ninety degree. This is ninety. Clear? Yes, sir. So mutually perpendicular. Is it clear to you? Yes, sir. It's clear. I think this is clear to you. After this, today we will start triangle law of vector addition. Write down the heading. Next topic, perhaps we have finished. Sir, I actually have a doubt, sir. Yes, yes. Sir, what will be the use of null vector, sir? Null vector simply magnitude is zero. It has arbitrary direction, like like a vector plus you know displacement vector. Sometimes it is zero. We are not saying displacement. It is a null vector. Zero no, vector, no. name only simply. Yes. Sir. If you add null vector to any vector, for example, a plus a vector plus zero vector, null vector, then it has no effect. 
If you multiply null vector with any vector, then it is what? Zero vector. Like that. Null vector, this is null vector. If I draw a single point, this is null vector. Because single point has no magnitude. We are saying it is negligible dimension. Null vector simply means dimensionless. Zero, zero size, simply. Negligible size. Clear? Yes, sir. Any doubt? Pardon, sir. After this, write down triangle law of triangle on that. Triangle law of vector addition. Uh, right on. I will take Sai Chiran classes uh, on uh, Wednesday. Okay? Yes, sir. I, I have a slot free on Wednesday. I will take. Right on. If two vectors today actually I have planned but uh, because of power cut I am not able to take. And tomorrow I have to go for institute. So I need to do home related work also. No time actually. If two vectors are represented by, no need to worry. Clear? Is he studying at home like? I think he's studying. Yeah. If two vectors are represented by, The two sides of a triangle by the two sides of a triangle in magnitude and direction. Taken in the same order, taken in the same order, then the resultant is Represented by or given by given by third side third side of the triangle. in magnitude and direction taken in opposite order. Meaning is what? Wait. Easy only. 
So for example, if you are taking like this, one vector is tail to head, then tail to head, again tail to head, tail head, again tail head. This A vector, B vector, then the resultant will not be given by this tail to head. It will be given by the opposite sense. This R vector. So you can take any order. Here you can see A vector, B vector and R vector. They are in the same order. They are in same what? You can take any same sense. For example, if you are taking like uh, anti-clockwise sense like this, then you are what? How will you write? How will you write simply? You are starting from here, a vector, same side, tail to head plus tail to head, then again tail to head. It should be tail to head, but it is not uh, tail to head. We will make it tail to head. We will multiply with this minus. Then it become tail to head. Then now it is null vector because we come back to the same point. So R vector will be what? A vector plus B vector. This is triangular. Three sides. Can you see three sides? Yes. So if you have taken three vectors in the same order, like tail to head, tail to head, like this then you should take any direction. You should assume any direction. Resultant will be given by the A vector and B vector. Meaning is what? For example, you have given one vector like this, 2y cap, and this is what? 2j cap. What is the resultant of these vector? Simply, triangle, we will make a triangle. Resultant of this will be given by this. One sense, take one sense. Our objective is to find the resultant, okay? 2y cap, tail to head, tail to head. Then we will make it tail to head. So it will be, r vector will be 2y cap plus 2j. Clear? Yes. Any doubt? This is the way we should solve. Clear? Triangular is very, very important. And uh, many, many questions like they have asked in previous, uh, previous like, uh, previous year IIT, clear? Previous year question of IIT J. So you should uh, like uh, be more comfortable with this. So write a question like, write down a question. One minute. Uh, write down the question. A girl moves. A girl moves. Three meter. Towards. East. Okay. Then she takes. Then she takes ninety degree left turn ninety degree left turn and moves four meter and moves. Four meter north. Find the displacement of the so.
Give me the answer with direction, okay? Yes, sir. It's an easy question, okay? We will uh, you solve the question related to this law, okay? A girl is moving two, uh, three meters towards east, like this. East. Sure. Then she she is moving like this. Then she take ninety degree turn. Ninety degree means like this. Left turn. This is a girl. Okay. She is uh, taking left turn. Like this. She is like this. Left turn like this. Sir, vectors. How should I add them, sir? Four meter towards north and three meters towards east. Ah, uh, four meter towards north like this. Not direction east. Clear? Yes. Sir. Then they are asking resultant. So it is a triangle. Resultant will be like given by like this. Okay. Resultant is displacement because she is starting from here. Finally, she is here. So displacement is initial to final. This is actually R vector is resultant or is it displacement vector? Okay, so it will be what? Take any sense like this three. Which direction? I cap four in which direction? J cap minus R. So displacement will be three I plus four J. Clear? Yes, sir. Easy only. So you should know triangle law how to apply it. and if you have a good command on this, believe me, all the position vector, displacement vector, entire kinematics you can understand. Okay. So today is like uh, better like you should solve question. Parallelogram law we will understand in the next class. Up to this revise. Okay. I am planning to give resolution also. You should solve question. Yes, sir. Yeah, one question like if you want to solve, you can solve this question. You give me the answer. And one more thing like I want to tell like uh, if, if you know the resultant vector, if you know the resultant vector, for example, R vector, this is 2i cap, uh, this is 3, you can say like uh, not this, like this. One vector is like this, 2i cap, this is 3j. And if you know the resultant, okay, then no need to worry regarding 2i and 3j. Okay, once you know the resultant, for example, r vector is 2i cap plus 3j. Then forget what is 2i. Remove this. Erase this. Okay, you should know the resultant vector. You know resultant vector now? How will you draw this resultant vector? Two y plus three j. Clear? And how much angle it is making? This will give the direction of resultant vector. Clear? So resultant vector is what? Here. Three i two y plus three j. One side each. So it will alpha. Alpha will give the direction of resultant vector. Direction. Okay. Its length, this length will give the what? Yes, sir. How to find this alpha magnitude, we will discuss in the next lecture. So, if you know resultant vector, no need to worry regarding any other. Clear? So, entire mechanics, you, you they will ask find the resultant vector. This question, solve this question. Like, for example, if I ask, this is OA, B, B, B. Find the resultant of these these vector. This is a vector, b vector, c vector, d vector. Give me the answer. 
find the resultant of these vectors. See, it is easy. I am telling how to solve it. Triangle law you will apply. What is the resultant of A vector B vector? This is A vector tail to head, tail to head. Resultant will be like this. This is the A plus B. Now you got the resultant. Forget this. Remove this. Clear? Now this is one, one triangle, one length. Triangle law, how many sides are required? At least two. This is one side A plus B. This is C. Tail to head, tail to head. Resultant of this will be what? Like this. It is what? A plus B plus A C. Now remove this. Remove this. Now A plus B plus C resultant and D is there. I am asking this. This is final vector. It will be what? R1 A plus B plus C plus Clear? Now remove this. Now you got R1. That is our objective. You got R1. How much angle it is making? That is That will tell the direction. Okay. I will tell how to find this alpha in the next lecture. Well, Laura. Law fact. Clear? So in physics, always we are interested to find the resultant vector. Clear? We are not at all interested in individual vector. But individual vector help us to find the resultant vector. Once you know the vector, like uh, individual vector, you can get the resultant. And once you get the resultant, remove the individual vector. So how many vectors at least for triangle law? One thing like in triangle law, three sides, along three sides, okay, three sides required. Clear? And one more thing, the resultant vector, R vector, will be lie in the same plane. Okay, it is coplanar vector. In case of triangle law, the resultant will lie in the same plane. It will not, it never be in other plane, okay? It is in the same plane. If A, B lie in the X, Y plane, the resultant will lie in the same plane. Clear? So, you will stop this lecture here. The next lecture, I will start parallelogram law of accreditation. So today we have complete types of vector. It's very important, believe me. And uh, tri uh, like triangle law of accreditation. In the next lecture, I will tell how to add two vectors, resolution of vector, parallelogram law of accreditation. Clear? So yes, this chapter name is introduction to vector and forces. So vector introduction I will give. Along with that, I will tell you the introduction of forces also. You know, in class 10th or 9th, I have teach tension force, free body diagram, everything I will teach here in detail. Yeah. Numerical also we will solve here. Clear? So, first chapter is introduction to vector and forces. So, here you will you have good clarity regarding pulley string problems. The problems in which you have uh, like little bit uh, little bit difficulty, I will, I will say. But once you have a good hands-on, then uh, no need to worry. Clear? I will tell each and every step basic, basic uh, ways, like uh, how to approach any problem, like friction problem, 
pulley string problem, multiple string, multiple pulley problems. Clear? Each and everything I will explain you. Slowly, slowly we will go. Clear? So, have a smile on your face always and never take uh, study as burden. Physics is very easy. Clear? And uh, what's going on in your uh, like uh, school life? School portion completed, sir. School portion or uh, 10th class portion finished? Yes. Oh, nice, nice. IIT slavers like? Sir, that only... Uh... <laughs> it's not done. It's not done yet. No. What ma'am is doing? Uh, Kavita ma'am is teaching? Uh, how many classes uh, she is taking in the day? Uh, like uh, nowadays, uh, classes are not there for prep. Well, I don't know. Like, nowadays, there is no like class for prep. No, sir. Why? Because they are like for the exam, but then they stop the class. Oh. Now, where is she? What she is doing? Like she is teaching now? No, sir. Prepper classes are started. Okay. Because okay. of board. Because of board exam. Maybe she is taking ninth class. Okay. They are like uh, LML. <laughs> what I say. But really, I like RT wing. Like, really. I teach, I like to teach you people. Like. Even I remember the <laughs> entire building still. Super, like, super, super, uh, like, uh, memories there. Really, super. Okay. Uh, like, when, how many days of Diwali vacation there? Sir, maybe one or two days. One or two days. So, I'm telling, like, on Diwali, maybe I am not available here. Okay. Means I'm going to my home and then my home like uh, when I'm at my home then internet connectivity is there. I will try to connect with my mobile. Okay. So on Diwali maybe we will take class or it may or it may not be. Okay. So if we have class then only one hour class we will take. Yes. Or if it is not then enjoy the festival. It's a matter of one or two days. Clear. Once I reach here then schedule will be proper. Okay. So thank you so much. Take care and revise the lecture. Revise the notes. Practice question as much as possible. Clear? Okay. I will share the question afterwards because till now we didn't uh, start any numerical portion. Once I start a resolution of enter those things, then I will uh, I will discuss the question. Don't worry, you will solve yes. many questions. Okay? Bye. Take care.